tribe presenter yes. actress if you didn't know mm -hmm. <laughs> i inherited fifth avenue maisha phoenix mm. entrepreneur hey yo her cv is long guys just go just, <laughs> go just go follow just go follow yeah and you know you. senjen ah uh -huh. yeah yeah and joe uh -huh. yes we Those have mutual friends. Really? Were you an actress as well? I actually did, but oh I've only done gosh. stage plays. I've never actually been on Phoenix? TV as a um, KNT, mm -hmm. uh, this Michael Joseph Center, and I can't remember the other one. So you did set books as well. Imagine. I no. did. You did do set I, books. I found people, you <laughs> and like then I just started doing things. Oh Alliance, yes. I started Alliance. Alliance. Heartstrings. Uh, oh, so yes. what's it called? Festival of Creative Arts. Um, oh, those are powerful. Yes. Yeah. So eh, as we bond on air, I know <laughs> this interview might last, guys. Okay, what well, we're going to do for the Let interest you. of time is we're yeah. going to go back into the juice that is her life. Yeah. And uh, we before the break we were talking about peer pressure and all these things and thinking perhaps that we need a lot of capital or money to start a business and all these things and mm -hmm. not really believing in ourselves because we think we're too young. Uh, because I don't know, it's taboo in Africa to imagine that someone young can do something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know really. But Stay in your lane. <laughs> what? Anyway, so yeah. what she's going to is just guide us through, tell us how she, you know, first how found the courage to do what she's doing, and now how how it started versus how, how it's started. going. <laughs> going That's yeah. going to be very funny. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> You know how people are like, uh, people became entrepreneurs because you mm. got this amazing idea. You were sleeping <laughs> and <laughs> came to the angel dream. of the Lord appeared. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, uh, that was not the case. So I told you about my background in radio. Mm -hmm. So first we go through this selection. It's like all over the country they are looking for top presenters in the world. You know when you're just from uni, mm. these things really excite you, right? Mm -hmm. We are selected, seven of us, out mm. of over 200. Wow. So you're so confident and you're feeling really amazing. Then you go into it. So as, as with these things, yes, you're selected, but it's a competition. Mm. But it's not so clear that it is a competition. So you, you're just going about your business. Mm -hmm. And then so before you know it, one by one is checked out, checked out like that. Mm -hmm. So I remember what, when it was my time to be checked out, I was so devastated. I was, you know how like you get your, your letter that, oh, um, we, we may not be able to continue with this. So I went to the washroom and I was in tears. Oh. I was, yeah, so I was at, I think at 27, mm. that's a crisis, you know, cause it's the first time such a thing is happening to mm -hmm. you. So I went and I was wailing and weeping. But when I got out, is when I thought, but I can do stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Luckily, I was still doing the talk show, the 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 TV talk show. Mm -hmm. So that was my pattern. So I had now so much time. I'm doing the talk show, and then now I have so much time. A friend of mine told me, "Why don't we do events?" And I was like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. I love events. Why don't I uh, start an events company?" So I started the events company, and it was called Bell Enterprise Themed Event. Wow. High ambition, right? <laughs> enterprise. <Hey. laughs> that time, I'm the enterprise. I'm the only person. <laughs> I'm like solo, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I went, and I went that those days, it wasn't, you could, didn't register on the internet. You go to City Hall. Mm -hmm. So I went to City Hall, and I queued, and I asked for a business name. I paid for it. Uh, which is like, I think it's to such is 200 shillings to register is 800 shillings. So can you imagine with only 1000, mm -hmm. you're a business owner. Mm -hmm. So it's not even that complicated. So I did two. Mm -hmm. I'm like bus. So I am a company owner of two businesses. So it was uh, Bell Pitcher and Bell Enterprise Team Events. Yeah. And that's how I started. So I, I t bought a book called How to Start a Business, yeah, which I still have. Mm -hmm. So I bought the book How to Start a Business and I started reading. So it's like, oh, do this, do this. I did everything that that book was saying. Then it's like launch mm -hmm. and tell everybody Whoa. that you mm -hmm. are in business. Bum -bum. I did that. Like, oh, yeah. So I, I emailed everyone, my friends who are journalists and everyone, and I told them, hey, I'm in business. I've started an events company and so I'll be organizing events. Would you believe people were so excited? Like, what what did it take me to start that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's just an idea. It's still even at the idea stage. And I've just written, like, a few concepts. I've called guys and I've told them, this is my dream and this is my vision. Already people were congratulating me and they're like, amazing. You're doing a great job. So, you see, it, it, it made me excited. And I'm like, I can actually do this, you know. 
so I did that. I took that. Then now the first event, uh, which was uh, on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, I thought about a name. I worked so long there. I was like, I thought of dance your mate. Mm -hmm. So wow. shady. Well, well, you you think it's nice? Yes. Me, I thought it was nice. It was so yeah. cool, right? It does. Okay, maybe I'm just judging myself. <laughs> A little bit but that's alone. your mate, yeah. Be nice to yeah, yourself. Yeah, be nice, be kind, be kind. <laughs> Good be job. Kind. <laughs> so, yeah, and it, it went all right, actually. Mm -hmm. Some people paid to attend the event, mm -hmm. but much I wanted 30 couples to, to attend, and so I got, like, about 10 who paid, mm -hmm. and the rest just came in for free. I did food and things like that. Then I even bought things for catering. So the money that I was getting on my show, mm -hmm. I invested mm -hmm. into it, right? And then, um, then because I didn't really like how that event turned out, I started also now branching into catering. That's how I ended up catering. Mm -hmm. And then I was realizing, okay, sometimes events, um, you may do an event and you don't get the return of investment. Mm -hmm. But if someone calls you to cater, you may make your money back. And already I had these tools. So then I started mm -hmm. to cater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. In fact, even my producer then gave me gave me a, a job to go cater <laughs> at one of her events and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so I, re I did that for quite some time. Then I thought, okay, so how can I move this? I was like, then I should start a restaurant. But then I realized now a restaurant is capital intensive. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. don't just start a restaurant. But if you're doing a kibah, and that. There are people who do a kibanda. Mm -hmm. You actually uh, get to do it. But then now it was in those struggles that I went through as an entrepreneur that, that, that I started the network, mm -hmm. you know, the Dream Tribe uh, Network Africa, because then I wanted to form a platform where all of us as entrepreneurs can network and find more markets for our businesses. For, for me at that time, it was catering. I wanted to know if we come together as 1,000 people, likely I'm going to have like 100 people to supply food to. Mm -hmm. And the other person who's doing whatever business they are doing, they would also have um, 1,000 possible clients in the same space. Mm -hmm. And so that has now ended up being the business mm -hmm. <laughs> that has ended up being mm -hmm. the thing that has um, advanced me. Yeah. I like how you started with one thing, yeah, and it didn't really work out the way you wanted to, exactly. but, but took a lesson literally, yeah, and, and then like went on to the next thing. Exactly, yeah. Versus nowadays, I feel like we we give up a lot. I don't I know if know. it's giving up or if it's burnout or it's stress. I don't know, mm -hmm. or it's it's us limiting ourselves. Because honestly, let me just confess, guys. <laughs> it's like let me just confess. Yeah, yeah. I, I had uh, a venture that I was following up this year mm -hmm. and it didn't work out yeah. but I did everything right and I it know. floored me I was oh, like ah, me about it. I'm so tired yeah. <laughs> I was so <laughs> emotional <laughs> like, and for Mental two weeks health. I was just out eh, yeah. I was literally I was just out because I'd put so much energy it I'd does. put so much so many resources into yeah, it I know, and I could not it. believe it did not work out then now later when I've relaxed I've <laughs> come back <laughs> to my, my hormones have come <laughs> down <laughs> Yeah. yeah, now we are thinking like a person and thinking, okay, now what did I learn from that? And, exactly. and how can I make this loss, in quotes, a win? Exactly. How, how yeah. do I do that? Yeah. And that's my favorite thing from the story. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in conclusion, perhaps, yeah. how would you advise someone who is watching you right now? It doesn't matter what age bracket you're in because they say it's never too late mm. to start. Mm -hmm. How would you advise them? Okay, now they've, they've identified their niche. They know what they like to do. All right, so now what's next? What's next? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, I like what you said, that age is not a, a limit because I'm also doing the same. What I'm doing for the young entrepreneurs is also one that I'm doing to retirees. You know, retirees also, you finish your work and you want to start a business and you just don't know how, you know? So then I come on board and just take you through the journey because you, you are able to now... Um, go through the steps and I think even for you like you're you are feeling really frustrated because maybe you are working alone mm -hmm. but what if you actually had someone to encourage you and support you through the journey mm -hmm. wouldn't you feel wouldn't you stick through to to the cause or would you have like a different idea that was what I actually experienced as well mm -hmm. but believe in the beauty of your dreams like everything that you see today was an imagination of somebody who took a chance on that. Even right now, mm -hmm. we are on Y254. It is somebody's idea 
KBC was someone's idea and they took a chance and believed in that idea. So every time you get an idea, and uh, because I'm also religious, I'm saying believe that God has spoken to you and only you. Because you know how you think at your ideas, oh, they're all over, they're just being distributed. There are things like I used to think everyone wanted to be a presenter like me. There are people who genuinely don't want, like to talk to people. They don't <laughs> or enjoy be it. on camera. <laughs> they don't like it, yeah. Mm. So we are so different. And that uniqueness that is in you is just in you, you know. That vision, that idea that you have is probably just in you. So if you don't do it, then, you know. So I spent quite some time wondering, am I on the right track? And that's why I was on and off full-time employment or, but I'm also doing consultancy so that I'm also in line with my career. Mm -hmm. So then I'm not just calling myself a hustler throughout. So mm -hmm. I'm just combining both. But what if you don't have the choice? What if you don't have employment? Are you going to sit year after year after year waiting for the job? Or are you just going to wake up and say, I have enough. I am enough. I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to just take the chance because everything was imagined mm -hmm. yeah yeah i like that it's it's, it's a inside job it's an inside it's job a, literally <laughs> it's, yeah it's setting yourself up you have to like wake up and just say i am i am a hero and would you believe it like you can imagine i didn't i was shocked to 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 become top 35 under 35 because all, all along How i was just thinking feel? what am i doing really am i even on the right course oh. yeah so it's just believe how did that feel? I can assume it Amazing. Was I laughed. I went to all mirrors ah. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I think it was so funny. <laughs> but I was happy. I was ah. happy. At some point, I was, I just, I just, I, I actually had some tears. And I was like, finally, these speeches that I've been making Aww. on Facebook <laughs> are, are legit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was quite a journey. Yeah. But I'm. Um, there's Happy. someone who likes to tell me, always be consistent in what you're doing, especially yes. if you love it, because you never know who's going to see you or exactly. going to hear you one totally, day. Totally. Although some yeah. days, ugh. I know, <laughs> like you <laughs> need to listen to motivational speakers. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Those ones who, I, I started know. with two glasses, yeah. <laughs> now I have to revive. Yes, the oh. ones in network marketing, yeah, those ones, yeah. <laughs> you become. Like even me, I'm like, hey, am I sounding like a motivator? Because <laughs> I think you become <laughs> I inevitable. You have no choice. But you it's good. Be, I, I yeah. would like to surround myself with people like you. Yeah. yeah positivity me too. And, and just some good <laughs> vibes all around. And pushing, you know, each other to yeah. be better, be greater. Journey to greatness. Lala. Yeah. Come here. When you see Kamala, 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 Kamala Harris, what do you feel? <laughs> you know? Power, power. Yeah, I love that. What if she never took that? Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also can guess ourselves, I think. And she's a person of color, i.e. black. I and is of Indian descent, and she's I female, know. and she's just breaking Everything. barriers. Yeah, Yo, yeah. She's just, hey, Senje, we, we, the whole world is talking about <laughs> you. You don't even know who we are, but yeah. it's okay. Thank you for inspiring us. And I'm quite sure there's someone who you have no idea exists, but you have inspired them. So thank you thank on you their so behalf. Thank you so much for having me. All right, one more time. What would you like to tell the people before we go? Uh -huh. Go for your dreams. Uh, go for what you believe in. If you imagine something, don't uh, okay unless now it's like terrorism don't do that but if it's something good <laughs> something good that will advance humanity do it don't hold back don't live there in fear waiting for the perfect moment perfect time believe that you can do it if you don't feel courageous teach yourself to be courageous courage is not something we are all born with it's something that comes it's on and off and so when you don't feel courageous inspire yourself take yourself expose yourself to more things i used to be very afraid initially now i'm not like literally even making phone calls i would have to think about it for 10 minutes now i just pick my phone and i call if the answer is yes it's yes if it's no it's no then you move on from there and so those are things that learn with time um, come with time and so don't think that you're not capable or you're not a able to do anything you actually could be the next anything that you want to be you could actually invent a company like safaricom that could be you and so um be all out and just go for your dreams yeah mm. i cannot add or take away but all <laughs> i can say is god bless esther Neymar. thank yeah. you for coming through and whoever discovered her and brought her here 
God will bless you too. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're yeah. going to take a break again, but we will be back with our final conversation of the day. Again, we have a question on our socials at Wi-Fi on Facebook, Wi-Fi for channel on Twitter. And we're asking you, when you were Simole, when you were younger, what did you want to be? And <laughs> what happened after that? Yes, hashtag is all by in the morning. My name is Valentine. Please do not go away. Thank you.